We're running first championship start on, on Tuesday. I know the result didn't go the way you wanted to, but you must have been happy with how you performed because you kept them relatively quiet for the, for the 90 minutes. Did you enjoy the experience? Yeah, even though we conceded three goals, I think we defended quite well as a team. They didn't actually open us up of a sort. Obviously, the free kick come from dead play. And obviously, there's a deflection as well. But as an overall defensive performance, I thought we played very well. Yeah, you must have been really pumped to, to obviously get your cha first championship start. When did the gaffer tell you? Was it, did he give you time to settle in, digest it? Or was it a case of you playing, get, get your head around it? Uh, I think, obviously, I was just patient, training hard, all of the stuff that you've got to do. And um, he didn't actually pull me to say that I was starting. It was kind of just in the meet, and he said, mm. That I was playing, so I was delighted to get my first start. Yeah, I think the advantage as well this year is because there is regular 23s football. Um, it gives you the opportunity to keep your fitness up because mm. ultimately if you're on the sidelines and not playing, maybe on the bench occasionally, and you don't have that behind you, it can be difficult to adjust. But I guess because you, you feel relatively fit because you're playing games, that helps you when you're given that opportunity. Yeah, it was good getting 90, I think it was last week, to Watford's mm. under-23s. So, yeah, just getting minutes, staying fit for... Obviously, the first team when I'm available, when the gaff wants to put me in. Mm. Is it feel still a bit of a whirlwind for you? Because obviously, not so long ago, you were you sort of coming through at Barnet, getting a few games mm. there. Then you get the move, obviously, Peterborough, part of the promotion side mm. last year. Now you're sort of in the championship and playing games there. Is it, is it a pinch me moment, or are you so level headed that you kind of take it all in your stride anyway? Uh, I do take it all in my stride, but I did speak to my old man about it the other day, kind of not even starting a game for Barnet to then starting in the champ. So, yeah, it's a nice feeling, and yeah. I suppose that is football, isn't it? Things can mm. change very, very quickly, and, and it's a good to have a, a good support network around you. Mm. You mentioned your, your dad there, but also because you've got players, I suppose, like Harrison, who's gone through a similar scenario in terms of breaking through an academy, playing first team football. Those guys helped you as well? Yeah, yeah. I mean, all the other pros are kind of role models. I look up to all of the players that are on the pitch, looking at what they do, what I need to do to sort of play. So, yeah, it's a good environment. Yeah, everyone knows you like to get on the ball and try and make things happen and be calm and, and, and start games. In the championship as well, I, I guess to a certain degree, you get a little bit more time to, to pick your pass. Mm -hmm. and it's about making sure the pass is the correct one. I guess that's where you thrive, isn't it? Because you like to punch it in and, yeah, and, and get attacks moving. Yeah, I like getting on the ball, sort of building attacks, playing up from the back. Um, but also, I think defensively, you've got to stay concentrated, always checking your shoulders, lots of talking. So. And this, I think, a side that I've improved on over the year. Mm. Yeah, and that's the thing, isn't it? Because you can have all the natural ability in the world, but ultimately it's about adjusting to the level you're at. And you mentioned communication now, I guess. Mm. But particularly when you've played in a three and then moving into a four, that's what it's all about, isn't it? You have to mm. talk to each other. There's people like Norbs, who's obviously come in, he looks like he's a vocal type in yeah. the field. Does he, does he help in that respect as well in bridging that gap? Yeah, he's a good midfielder, out and out, box to box. Talks loads don't shy away from the ball and obviously defensively he's very aggressive so yeah he's good. Yeah and just finally obviously Birmingham at home on Saturday and then obviously Coventry away next week they keep coming down in these championship yeah. games but I guess you should keep focused don't you and just enjoy the, enjoy the ride. Yeah we haven't had a great form recently but I think we're not far away from it just keep performing stick into what we do and yeah hopefully we get three points.